Hello and welcome to Lush Turing's video on demand library. My name is Matt George and in this video I'll be demonstrating how to install Cisco Call Manager Express version 4.1. Now there is a few things that you should take into consideration before you attempt to install Call Manager Express. First of it being whether or not you have uh, enough flash and memory in the router that you're attempting to install Call Manager Express onto. And in this video here, I will be installing Call Manager Express on a 2651 with 256 mega RAM and 48 mega flash. So, as you can see, I've already got the files downloaded here on my desktop. And what we need to do is uh, go ahead and update the image on this router because right now the router does not have a supported iOS image for the release of the Call Manager Express that I will be installing on this router. That is one of the things that you should take into consideration when installing Call Manager Express. There is a chart on the Cisco website that does document which iOSs will support the particular Call Manager Express version. So, so first thing I need to do here is go ahead and TFTP this new image onto this router. So let me go ahead and configure my interfaces so I can do this real fast. IP address 16.20. Ah, wrong one. 10.1.1.1.255.255.255.0. No shit. Yes, it does help me bring it up. Now I gotta have to create a default route. I hate it when that happens. IP route zero. All right. While I'm at it. Now let me ping the uh, default router and ping the TFTP server. And there we go. Now I need to make sure my TFTP server is running. Let me check it here. And of course it's not, so let me go ahead and start the TFTP server. Now that it's started, I can just go ahead and exit out of it. And now I need to place the Call Manager Express files into the TFTP root directory. And let me go ahead and rename this here so that way I ain't going to type it out manually. Copy TFTP flash 172.16.20.105 for the TFTP server. And I'm going to paste in the name of the image that I need to copy. And I'm going to go ahead and press enter here. And it's going to prompt me to erase. I'm going to go ahead and erase here and confirm that. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here, and I will return after it's completed copying. All right, now that you can see that my image has completed copying, and it has passed the, uh, the checksum verification, and if we do a directory flash command, you'll see that the image is now in flash. So now what we need to do is go ahead and copy the Call Manager Express files from the archive into flash. In order to do this, we're going to have to use the archive command and extract the tar file so let me go ahead and go back to the TFTP root here and right click on the uh, the archive name so that way I can paste it. Archive slash tar slash x and you need to specify the name of the tar file so in this we're going to specify the TFT IP address 16.20.105 and then we're going to paste in the the archive name and then we're going to place it in the flash. And as you can see here it is uh, extracting the files from the archive tar file from the TFTP server and placing it into flash. So I'm going to pause the video here once again and wait for this to complete. Alright there we go so now the extraction has completed and now we are ready to reload the router. So I'm going to go ahead and reload the router here. I'm just going to go ahead and save the configuration and reload the router. All right, now that the router has reloaded and it has booted an image that is supported by the version of Call Manager Express that I am installing, I'm going to go ahead and do a show version here so that way you can see that I'm running IP Voice 12411XJ4. Now, let me go ahead and get into global configuration because we need to do some prerequisites first before we attempt to make a connection to the, uh, the web server. First off, let's go ahead and enable the web server, IP HTTP. Uh, let me remember what the command is. 
server and we also need to configure the server to support local authentication so i have ttp http authentication local and we also need to specify that the web server should use the flash in order to uh, retrieve the files so ip http path and flash there we go and also we need to create a username that can access the uh, the files in Flash, ex specifically the Call Manager Express pages. So username uh, Cisco privilege level 15 with a secret of Cisco. And let me make sure that's all we need to do. I'm pretty sure that should be it. So let me go ahead and fire up Firefox here and make a connection to the router. And there we go. Cisco, Cisco. And of course, uh, with the Call Manager Express, you have to type in telepathy service.html. Ah, uh, yes, I remember what I forgot. We got to enable the telephony service on the router. I knew I was forgetting something, so. There we go. Now it will pop up here in a second. And now we have successfully installed Call Manager Express on the telephone. I mean the uh, router here. Telephone, there we go. Would be nice if you can install Call Manager Express on the telephone. Some of the features here are only supported in Internet Explorer. So I would definitely recommend when you manage Call Manager Express that you use Internet Explorer and not Firefox. Well, I hope this video has been helpful for you, and thank you for viewing.